Hey everyone, how's everybody doing out there today on the interweb? I hope all my friends and family members are doing well and you are experiencing the blessing of God. You know, I got to thinking about this issue of blessing, blessing others, blessing God. And many times, the only time we speak blessing over someone is if they sneeze. Someone sneezes and we say, God bless you. But how about other moments in their lives where maybe a sneeze is not present? Shouldn't we be speaking blessing over them? Shouldn't we be speaking the favor and provision of God over them? Shouldn't we be speaking blessing instead of cursing over them? Because, you know, there, it's important the words that come out of our mouths. It's important. And God knows them even before they leave our lips. God knows the words and the intent of our words. And so today, I just want to encourage you and challenge you to speak blessing over someone. And I want to read a passage of scripture, actually two passages of scripture to you. And as I read them, I want to speak this blessing over you. So listen as I read this blessing over your life today. In Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 through 26, it says this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. What a beautiful scripture of blessing that is. And you know, there are moments in our lives when we need someone to speak that over our lives. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. You know what that means? That means may God's glory shine on you. May God's glory envelop your life and may you be a reflection of his glory and may he be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, meaning he lifts, lifts his head and looks at you and he lifts your countenance. You know, there are times that I'm going through life and having a struggle day, and you know, my countenance is downcast and my face is sad and uh, I'm in a bad mood and, and just having a real struggle in my life. And all it takes is one person speaking one word of blessing over me and reminding me of some things that I forget in moments of depression or fear or anxiety or mistakes. Someone speaking blessing over me. So today I speak that blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. It also says in Romans chapter 15, verse 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. So that the power of the Holy Spirit may abound in hope. Did you hear those words? I'm gonna read them to you again. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that the power of the Holy Spirit may abound in hope. In moments that we're feeling hopeless, in moments that we're feeling lost, what a great blessing it is to pray that the power of the Holy Spirit may abound in hope in our lives. So today, I just wanna say bless you. God bless you. You don't even have to sneeze. I am pouring out a blessing upon you that God's blessing would rest in your life, in your home, in your family, that you may experience the abundance of his blessing and his love and his hope and his peace in your life. I love you today. May God richly bless you. Speak blessing into someone's life today.